Welcome back to Fast Market here on the TD Ameritrade Network. Let's bring in our next guest for our cash tag segment. And that's going to be Megan Brantley, the Vice President of Research at Likefolio. Welcome back to the show, Megan. Thanks for having me, guys. Happy Friday. Yeah, happy Friday. Two days in a row we got you, Megan. This is a nice little, I know. Break. This is a nice little break from the Twin Towers that we usually typically <laughs> have on the show here. But we're talking eBay. We're talking retail. Uh, you know, Gap Store is doing well today. Ross Stores. Walmart had a really good report. eBay. I'm hearing a lot of rumors that e-commerce has peaked as far as sales. I, I don't believe that because it's still only a small portion of the overall retail sales uh, that we see. But uh, what kind of data do you guys have on eBay? Because the stock's rebounded pretty solidly the, uh, this past month. <clears throat> yeah, you know, eBay is having a really nice month, as you mentioned, after a strong third quarter report. Um, I think it's interesting to note, though, that, you know, we break down even revenue. I think revenue decreased by about 5% in that report. And we're seeing this exactly in line with the consumer demand levels that we're tracking for eBay. We have eBay purchase intent levels down by about 5% year over year. So this is, this is right in line with kind of what we were expecting and what we're looking for whenever we track eBay. And what's interesting is that when you bring up e-commerce and general, you know, we do see some flattening there. Overall, for us, all mentions of people who are talking about shopping online are up by about 1% year over year. So that's pretty flat, relatively speaking. And then we also see a little bit of a slowdown in those holiday shopping mentions. We have those pacing just a little bit lower this year. And I think what's key in what we're seeing in these mentions from consumers is that they're really hunting for quality. And so I think that that's one way that eBay is differentiating itself because you have a lot of consumers consumers who, you know, want to buy these nice, high quality gifts, but maybe they don't have as much money as, as previously to, to spend and they're being a little bit tighter with their budgets. And so they're turning to a name like eBay where they can get this nice quality item for maybe a, a perceived lower price. And I think that's really driving eBay's happiness higher. This is probably the most, um, I would say outstanding piece of data whenever we look at eBay as a whole is those consumer happiness levels have increased by about seven points year over year, which is pretty high. And a lot of this has to do with consumers who are talking about really liking the um, assortment of offerings that eBay has and feeling like the platform has what they're looking for. So I think at least from a long-term indicator for us, happiness is, is typically where we look. So to start to see improvements like this um, is definitely a good sign for eBay that the consumer is liking what the company's putting out there. You know, Megan, eBay is kind of the Rodney Dangerfield of e-commerce because <laughs> they don't get a lot of respect, right? Everyone thinks they kind of miss the ball, but here's the thing. Trailing 12-month gross merchandising volume, $76 billion, th this company is. But here's the thing. If you think you're going to buy everything in the world there, you're not. But if you focus on things like car parts, they're a big car part re retailer where people shop for odd things and collectibles like trading cards and all things collectibles. This is the place where you go to it, where people go. And so this company, you know, much unloved by some of the markets as Amazon and other e-commerce have just blown by them. But they still do a nice job, don't they? They have their niche that they are strong in, Megan. Yeah, you know, I'm glad you bring that up. And I think it's interesting because previously, you know, we've come on the show and we've talked about, man, how did eBay miss this ball? You know, they were kind of the first yes. movers in this e-commerce space. And, and now we have a, a bit more positive notes that we can hit on when we see eBay. So, you know, we, we're starting to see a little bit more positive momentum than historically we have. And another interesting thing that you bring up is this niche audience. And one area that, you know, we're really tracking closely is this luxury um, segment that eBay is expanding into. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but they just launched, I think it's called the, the eBay Luxury Exchange in New York City, where you can actually come in and you can exchange luxury items. Like you can actually use these luxury items, these nice purses or watches or, or things of that nature as currency. So it's really interesting because overall we see a lot of consumers that, you know, this whole concept of luxury is growing and eBay is really leaning into this. And, and one of the things that it does really well with things like luxury items and things like collectibles is its authentication. I think it's it gives consumers a satisfaction that they know whenever they're purchasing an item that it's authenticated and that they're protected to make this purchase, which is something, um, a, a nice value proposition that it has that maybe some other e-commerce platforms don't have. 
Yeah, you mentioned that they have like a, a vault now that you can store uh, collectibles, trading cards, baseball cards, all that stuff now. So they're getting in the niche part of a lot of these businesses. But Megan, when you look at um, maybe the scatter plot, it seems like yeah. eBay is pretty positive. And in this type of environment, we talked about retail earlier on in the show, where some of these low priced entry point uh, retailers are doing really well during this earnings season and the higher end ones are not. eBay is one of those e-commerce sites where people are trying to find deals, right, uh, on either used or new items. They're trying to find them at a discount. Is that why you're seeing some positivity there? Because Amazon still, you know, dominates as far as, uh, you know, the bottom line there, the purchase intent uh, percent change year over year. So you're always going to get that. People always equate e-commerce with Amazon. But it seems like eBay's really uh, got some positive momentum. Is that due to discounting? Yeah, you know, I think that there's this really high perceived value component. And again, it's that just they have what consumers are looking for when consumers are looking for a really specific item. You know, you bring up a good point on that scatter plot in that eBay is at the top when it comes to happiness. And this has not always been the case. You know, historically speaking, whenever we've looked at eBay, you would expect to see it swapped places with Etsy on that chart. That's historically, you know, eBay's kind of, you know, lagged in demand and also lagged in happiness. So to see these improvements in happiness, that's pretty significant. And to see it performing some other traditional, you know, e-commerce peers like an Etsy, even like a Poshmark that, you know, are these resale items. I think that that's definitely a, a good thing for Etsy moving for, or sorry, for eBay moving forward. Um, and it's definitely a change in our data than what we've seen in the past few years. Yeah, so they reported earnings a, a couple weeks ago. Uh, stock initially dipped, but it's rallied, as I mentioned, about 14%. Yeah. If you guys had an earnings score now on this company going into the holiday shopping season, what would it be? You know, we're pretty neutral right now. We're, it's right in line, I think, with expectations. But we will be watching really critically over the next week, the next two weeks specifically, just to see how this holiday shopping shakes out because it's going to be a really important period for eBay. So still very early, but definitely like to see that um, increase in consumer happiness levels. That's a nice long-term indicator for us. Well, I actually might have to try this. I haven't been on an eBay platform <laughs> probably in a couple of years, but if people are happy on there, maybe I got to try it this uh, holiday shopping season. All right, great stuff as always, Megan. Have a great weekend. Thanks, guys. You too. All right. That's Megan Brantley, Vice President of Research at Likefolio, breaking down uh, eBay's data. Kev, how do you want to look?